Bruni Sirin, we are here in Arizona for the training camp with uh, Canadian athletes organized by the Bruni Sirin Foundation. And you want to share your thoughts on recent revelation about the doping of uh, uh, Russian athletes. Uh, what do you think about that? Uh, to me, it's in 2015, hearing these this, uh, stories again is very, it's very sad. I mean, I've been, I've been hearing uh, stories uh, since way back, since when I started. And uh, uh, in my personal career, that's, that's something that, uh, that's an issue that uh, disturbed me for like two years when I see Chilean athletes and all the time I see Chilean athletes, Chilean athletes and everything. And I think now with the situation uh, we have today, I mean, to me, uh, the, 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 the International Olympic Committee, uh, WADA and the uh, uh, Track and Field uh, Federation, they have to, to make a sanction, sanction uh, the most uh, severe now. Because I mean, if they don't do that, to, to, in, in my eyes, it won't be it won't be credible. Because uh, uh, I have I have enough of uh, hearing like uh, cheating people uh, all the time. Because it's not fair. It's not fair for the young athletes. Look at uh, I have 11 young athletes here through my foundation, and uh, the, 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 the the message I, I give them, they have they have some who has, who has a aspiration uh, to participate at the Olympic Games. They have some who, who wants to win medal at the Olympic Games and I always tell them that you can you can achieve it you can do it without drugs but when they see athletes like that when they hear stories like that it's it's make it's make my 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 job very tough and and the confidence also it's 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 very difficult we cannot we cannot accept that anymore this is this is this is this is crazy and we do know that all sports don't have the same standards regarding uh, doping controls what do you think we should do to correct that the other way, that's that's something that I think it's not it's not it's not fair. Uh, I think that uh, the International Olympic Committee has to put a standard for all sports. I know that in, in track and field, that uh, yes, we are more severe than a lot of other sport, a lot of uh, other uh, Olympic sport. And I think that uh, to make it more credible uh, again, uh, the International o Olympic Committee has to say that this is what the, 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 the we use for, let's say, for track and field. This is how we 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 uh, we test uh, the athletes and everything. And it has to be the same thing for 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 all the sport. I mean, all all the sport who want to participate. At the, at the Olympic Games, they have to, to, to have the same standard as in, in, in track and field. I mean, I remember and myself, they used to come to, to my house, they used to come and, and training camp uh, anytime and I have to, I have to do the, the, the drug test. I know for a fact that it's not in all the sport that they do that. The number of testing that I was doing and I represent athletes all, uh, today and uh, they, my athletes are doing in, in Canada, I know that in, in uh, other countries and also in uh, other sports, it's not the same. So we got to we got to stop to to, to to hide, and we have to face the reality and say that this is what we're going to do. And to me, that uh, this is what what to be be done to be fair to for everybody. Thank you, Bruni Surin, for taking the time from Arizona. Mm -hmm.